Welcome to the testing world. In this session, we are going to work on variables, but here we are going to use bean shell programming. So first of all, I'm going to the test plan and I'm defining a variable, which is URL and giving the value www.gmail.com. So one variable we have defined on the test plan level inside the test plan, we have a test case and inside the test case, I'm going to add a sampler that is bean shell sampler. So bean shell scripting is quite similar to the Java, all the Java syntax we are going to follow over here. Apart from it, bean shell is providing that we can use to access variable in this bean shell scripting. So one is the where's, so where's dot get and whatever the value you want to get, like I want to get the value of the URL variable, I am passing the name of the variable. It's going to get the value of the URL variable. I'm storing the value which is returned by where's.get in A. Now I want to see that what is the value in the variable A. So for that, I'm going to add debug sampler and I'm also going to add a listener view result tree. So everything is done. I'm gonna start executing and here in the debug sampler, at the result of the debug sampler, we are getting URL is this and value of this A in response, we are getting that is gmail.com. So by where that's dot get, we can pick the value of any variable apart from it if you want to print this value of a onto the console so we can write java syntax like system dot out dot print ln as this bean shell is fully compatible with java source so whatever the java source code you want to write you can write in this bean shell so I'm writing like A, I want to print the value of the A. Clearing previous result and running it again. So adding semicolon at the end of the line because as we know in Java, we need to add semicolons and clearing previous result, running it again. So on the console, we are getting this www gmail.com because the value of the URL is coming to A and the value of the A is displayed on the console. So that's a Java syntax which we can follow to display anything on the console. And this console is coming because whenever we are starting JMeter, so this console is started with the JMeter itself. So as of now, we have seen how we can pick the value of any already defined variable how we can display that value on the console now next thing i'm going to tell you how to define variable in this scripting in the bean shell scripting so i want to define a variable which we can use in the other steps so for that where's dot put with the help of the put we can define variables so name of the variable is url1 and this time i'm setting www the testing word dot com so i have defined a new variable which is url1 i already have the debug sampler so this debug sampler should display this newly created variable, I'm coming here, clearing result, 
running it again and semicolon so clearing the result here on the debug sample geometry variables are on going here in the view result tree running it bean shell sampler is passed and also debug sampler is passed so here in the debug sampler in the response of that we are getting one more variable which is url1 so here we have seen we can define new variable by using bean shell scripting to define new variable we are going to use put method and to access any of the previously defined variable we can use get method so that's all we have for this session thanks for watching this video